try to? I'm Catherine Banks. I'm the president of Texas A&M University. What's happened here today, President Banks? We are announcing a new COO, Chief Operating Officer and Vice President for the McAllen campus, the first one that we have ever had, Mr. Manny Vela. We're very excited about this new addition to our leadership team. He will be over the McAllen campus, but also work with people throughout South Texas to find out the best ways we could contribute to education broadly. Why is it important for AM to have a COO down here? Before, it was very difficult when we had problems or opportunities to communicate with Bain Campus. Also, we need someone to think strategically about this campus. What will it be in two years, three years, five years, ten years? We really hadn't had that before. And in addition, we need to determine how we gather the resources to make all this happen. You tell us a, a few of the attributes you found in Manny, and was it your decision or yours and Chancellor Sharps together? It was mine and Chancellor Sharps together, and uh, he is a leader, he is visionary, and he has amazing ability to bring together strategic plans, and that's exactly what we need down here. And tell us a little bit about your plans for the McCallum campus. So immediately we're adding nursing. We know that there's a great need in this area for nurses, so that program will start very soon. We don't know the other programs that we'll be adding over time. We want to look at the surrounding community and determine what industry needs that they may have because we want to make sure our students have internships. That's critically important when we uh, teach a student how to go to work after graduation. Senator Hinojosa reminds us all that you've got the potential for 100 acres down here. So you have room to grow. We do, we do. We want, we have the second building that Chancellor Sharp mentioned, the new nursing building. We'll also have a vet clinic in that building, but we are thinking about the third building. Um, we don't know what that will look like yet. Uh, we're now trying to gather funding for that facility. Tell us a little bit about the engineering academies that was announced recently as well. So we have engineering academies here. Of course, that's a way for students to uh, spend two years at home. Um, attending a community college or a smaller college that would allow for a reduced tuition cost. Very excited about it. We have them all over the state. Um, those students do very well when they come to College Station for their, second, their last two years. President Banks, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, we're just excited to be here. And we're excited that Mr. Baylor will be taking this new role. Thank you so much for today's interview. Oh, thank you.